paragraph 32, 513, and I call Patrick Roach, who chaired our anti-racism task force. Patrick. Thanks, President. Uh, Congress, uh, what a fantastic uh, video and testimony to the uh, amazing work uh, that uh, we're all doing, that you are all doing. You know, four years ago, when black workers were left dying at work, when they were left unprotected by a shameful government of lawbreakers, we stepped up. And when a government of multimillionaires, bankrolled by the likes of Frank Hester, who got off on inciting racism, misogyny, and violence towards black women. Shame on them. We demanded change. We called them out and we fought back. And now we're showing that our movement is on the side of black workers and on the side of all working people. Two years ago, it was a proud moment to see the Anti-Racism Manifesto and Action Plan secure the unanimous support of Congress committing our movement to a five-year programme of action on anti-racism. We said that this should not be a paper exercise, not lip service, not a pretense. Instead, we demanded concrete action. But colleagues, how far have we come? Have we delivered the progress that we promised? Are we confident of building a movement that is bigger and stronger, more diverse, more representative than it was before we kicked the Tories out. Because that is what we have to do. Just two years ago, this Congress asked every affiliate to sign up to our anti-racism action plan and manifesto. You demanded action from every union We've seen some amazing examples of work taking place in our unions across the country. Our black activist program, networks and campaign actions are growing in strength. Last year, at Congress, we launched the anti-racism tracker to support unions to develop their plans, review their progress, boost our impact and we published independent evaluations into the work of the task force, an evaluation that recognised that strides had been made, but that challenged us to do even more. And this year, we're moving to the next phase, to map our actions, measure our progress, and hold our movement to account over the next period, providing high-level visibility, measuring progress annually, increasing black membership density in our unions, reviewing the ethnicity of our staff and membership profiles, measuring our race pay gap. Because a strong union, a strong movement, is one that represents us all. Now we've already set a target to train 500 black activists annually. But that can only be a start, Congress. Those reps must also have a voice, and they must be listened to. We must ensure they have the facilities and opportunities to take the lead in our unions and no longer face a reality where doors that should be open are being closed to them. Colleagues, we still have work to do to make our anti-racism commitments a reality for all of our black members. So following Congress, we're going to be taking forward our new anti-racism data dashboard to show the reality of where we are making progress. Through the work of our implementation oversight group, we'll be building on the evidence that you give us in the equality audit to track our movement's progress. We're going to be setting targets for where we want to be, and we want your unions to do exactly the same. And let me finish by saying this. Our anti-racist work is as important today as it was when we started the work of the task force. 
you know, from black workers being left exposed to die at work during the COVID pandemic, to our communities being attacked by racist thugs, spreading racist hate on our streets and online to divide working class communities, the product of 14 years of Tory divide and rule. What we saw at the general election, the misogyny, transphobia, Islamophobia, racism, the four million votes for reform. You know, Nigel Farage says that he's coming for Labour. Well, we know what that means. It means that he and others are coming for our members too. Well, he may have our members in his sights, but I'll tell you this, he hasn't reckoned on us, Congress. Actions speak louder than words. Congress, we will defeat the racists and we'll defeat them by standing together united. To defeat the racists, to defeat the fascists, including by joining with Stand Up to Racism's counter demonstration on the 26th of October, by taking action in our workplaces, by equipping all of our reps, all of our activists, with the tools to build a strong and cohesive union movement and workplaces with our agenda at its heart. By putting our anti-racism manifesto at the top of our union agendas, by organizing, by campaigning and bargaining, by winning more workers to join us and join in. Because when we organize together, we rise.